mountains, usually steep, cold and take determination to reach the top. But for Harrison Ward, the countryside is his escape and also his kitchen. The journey to the summit, though, hasn't been easy. Harrison used to be 22 stone, battling alcoholism and depression. Really, I've been a sufferer of, of depression since puberty, really. I didn't know what it was at the time when it first sort of hit me. I was just sort of overwhelmed with this sense of, of self-loathing, insecurity, and just all these sort of dark thoughts in my head, really. Um, it was something that I kept very quiet. I didn't really share with friends or family. Um, but really, it began to escalate as I got older. At 18, I really discovered alcohol as a source of almost um, sedating my mind, in a way. A bit sort of self-medicating to sort of shut off those thoughts and just completely just turn myself into oblivion. So originally depression sort of brought alcohol in as a medicine, but it quickly became a poison. And as the years sort of went by from 18 to 19, by this point I was regularly drinking sort of 10, 15 pints a day, and at my height, probably over 20 pints a day at this point. So I'd always worked a lot in the hospitality trade too, where I'd worked sort of behind the bar, both in restaurants, um, kitchens, hotels. And it was quite accessible, I guess. A bit kid in a sweet shop having quite a lot of access to that sort of lifestyle. It got to a point for me where um, I just couldn't see an escape anymore. Alcohol was no longer providing that. And just sort of my own head really was just constantly bringing me down to a point where I didn't want to live. Since then, it's the outdoors that have led Harrison onto a new path. The challenge of walking up hills, he says, felt like the challenges he was facing in his own life. Reaching the top of that summit, being that top, that feeling of redemption, that feeling of success, and looking down below on sort of the tarn and the edges and sort of the beauty from the top of that mountain, it was something that really sung to me and felt like a new sort of addiction was being ignited. And that really spanned this sort of journey. So from then, I, I climbed a lot of fells in the Lake District. I went and did Snowdon in Wales, Ben Nevis in Scotland, and then began to actually start running in these hills as well. Whilst well, this complete turnaround, all in within the first sort of maybe six to nine months from being at the end of a bar every night, just completely inebriated. I would have laughed you at the pub if you just said that that's what I've been doing. His love for the outdoors didn't stop there either. With a passion of food, Harrison started cooking outside. I cannot believe this is actually happening. We are cooking outside. Normally I just pack a ham sandwich or something, Harrison, but you've, uh, you've got literally everything here. The stove, you've got the ingredients. What are we cooking? So we're going to have some nice uh, garlic mushrooms with some sort of toasted sourdough, and we're just going to sort of have a bit of a parsley garnish in the end here in this beautiful sort of um, viewed outdoors of Rhino Water. Wow, I feel like I'm in a five-star restaurant, um, <laughs> apart from I'm soaking wet. <laughs> we're not inside, but you know what? I love it, and the heat from the stove is keeping us warm. So do you know what? I'll let you kick things off. Let's get started, then. I just want to ask you, cooking outdoors, did you start off with all the equipment, or did you start off with some ham sandwiches and thought, I can do better than this? I said mainly it was initially sort of uh, packed lunches, if you will. So it was making dishes at home that I then brought into the outdoors, um, maybe leftovers or bits that I'd made purpose-built for the hike. Um, some risottos, I say, stews in there we had. Um, and then initially started getting the sort of repertoire and the kit together, what I needed to recreate that sort of kitchen in the outdoors and in an environment like this. So, of course, there is purpose-built stuff that's made for the job, a bit more lightweight. Um, and again, decanting things down into smaller containers and whatnot to take it out there. Um, to, to, to achieve these meals in the great outdoors. Becoming a hiker and an outdoor cook wasn't always the plan, but Harrison now feels in a much better place. Speaking out, he says, made all the difference. Just reaching out and talking, I think, is something that's hugely important when you're going through these things. I mean, I'd held this secret for many a year and tried to battle it through my own way and found my own mechanisms, if you will, that, as I mentioned, became, became a further poison. But reaching out and talking was something that really helped me sort of turn this around and make positive steps for a positive life. Bradley Harris, GB News.